Hello brothers and sisters, it is Kistrina speaking today is March 2nd, 2023 and I hope you are doing well and so I have a message from the Lord but before I share it, I want to confess that I believe Jesus Christ is the Son of God who has come in the flesh on earth and died for our sins and was buried and rose on the third day. Hallelujah. Amen. Brothers and sisters, we are living as in the days of Noah, we are watching for the rapture. Nobody knows the day or the hour except God the Father. And this is why we must watch, pray, and be ready every day. Before I give you the message of today, I want to share with you a few words from the Lord. Mark chapter 1, verse 15. The time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. We don't have much time left. Behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me. Revelation 22 from verse 12 to 15. I hope you read this scripture in order to understand this very important message from the Lord. Another message from the Lord is calling us to spend more time in prayer and fasting, in studying and meditating on the Word of God. In doing so, you will get more close to the Lord Jesus Christ. Every person must seek the Lord Jesus Christ to establish a personal relationship you must have a personal relationship with him Jesus Christ is the only way to heaven there is no other way John 14 verse 6 time is very short Matthew 21 verse 5 tell the daughter of Zion behold your king is coming to you, glory and sitting on a donkey. A court, the fall of a donkey. Jesus Christ is coming for his bride. His bride has made herself ready. The bride, Rami's wife, has children. The scriptures tell us that she has children. The bride was selected from Philadelphia Church. The rest of people in Philadelphia Church are her children. The five wise virgins talking in Matthew 25. Whether you believe it or not, it is the truth. Another message from the Lord, which is a warning for all of us, is in Luke 21, from verse 34 to 36. The day of the Lord will be a surprise. The Lord will come like a thief in the night. And this is why we must watch, pray, and be ready every day. You must read this scripture, brothers and sisters. Luke 21 from verse 34 to 36. If you are spending a day being busy with all kinds of things, Drinking, fornicating, stealing, lying, gossiping, judging others, condemning others, having envy, jealous. Brothers and sisters, wake up. Watch and pray and be ready every day. Luke 21 from verse 34 and 36 
is the warning from the Lord for all of us. Now I'm going to give you the message of today. The Lord is reminding us how important it is to have faith, to hear and obey His words. Also, the Lord is talking about forgiveness. We must forgive others if we want to be forgiven by God. Without faith and obedience, we cannot please God. I'm going to share with you a few scriptures from the Lord which will help you to understand this very important message. I'm going to read Matthew 7 from verse 24 to 27. Therefore, whoever hears these sayings of mine and does them, I will liken him to a wise man who built his house on the rock, and the rain descended, the fruits came, and the winds blew and beat on that house, and it did not fall, for it was founded on the rock. But everyone who hears these sayings of mine and does not do them will be like a foolish man who built his house on the sand. And the rain descended, the frost came, and the winds blew and beat on that house, and it fell, and great was its fall. I'm going to share with you my understanding from the Lord about this scripture. The word of God is the truth. Those who obey the word of God, those who obey God are wise. Those who disobey him are foolish. The Lord is calling your brothers and sisters to consider Matthew 25, the parable of the ten virgins. These ten virgins were all Christians, believers. When the time came, only five virgins were found wise. The other five virgins were found foolish. And so today, the Lord is calling your brothers and sisters to examine your life, to see which side you are, wise or foolish. The Lord is calling every person to hear and obey his words in order to be able to stand on the days of God's judgment and to be welcomed into eternal life. If you hear and obey God's words, you have Jesus Christ as your foundation, brothers and sisters. I hope you take time to read all these scriptures. You might read Matthew 7, the whole chapter. Also, you might read Matthew 21, because in this scripture, the Lord is talking about faith and obedience. Without faith and obedience, 
we cannot please God. Now I'm going to read another scripture about forgiveness. Any forgiveness will lead you to hell, brothers and sisters. This is very serious. Many people are dealing with unforgiveness today. We don't have much time left. You must forgive others. No matter what you are going through, you must forgive. Pray and seek the Lord Jesus Christ to give you grace to forgive others. I'm going to read Mark 11 from verse 24 to 26. This is about forgiveness, brothers and sisters. Mark 11 from verse 24 to 26. Therefore, I say to you, whatever things you ask when you pray, believe that you receive them, you will have them. And whenever you stand praying, if you have anything against anyone, forgive him, that your Father in heaven might also forgive you your trespasses. But if you do not forgive, neither will your Father in heaven forgive you trespasses. I'm going to read Matthew 18, verse 34 and 35. And his master was angry and delivered him to the tortures until he should pay all that was due to him. So my heavenly Father also will do to you if each of you from his heart does not forgive his brother his trespasses. My understanding from the Lord about forgiveness. The Lord is calling us to be quick to love and slow to judge. You will be forgiven the way you forgive others. Unforgiveness will lead you to hell, brothers and sisters. This is Matthew 18 from verse 34 to 35. And so, if you disobey and refuse to forgive, if you die in a state of bitterness, demons will torment you forever until you are thrown into the lake of fire. This is my understanding from Matthew 18, verse 24 to 35. We must forgive others in order to be forgiven by God. That is the message of today. If you cannot forgive, you cannot please God. And so today, the Lord is calling us to have faith, to hear and obey his words. 
and forgive because we don't have much time left, brothers and sisters. The Lord gave me another scripture, Job chapter 2. And this is a serious call to the people to return and repent, to fast and pray, and to ask unto God for mercy. He also gave me Ezekiel 7 and Ezekiel 21. The Lord talked about the wrath and judgment that are coming. And so we must watch, pray, and be ready every day. If you have not given your life to the Lord Jesus Christ, brothers and sisters, turn to him right now. Receive and accept him as your God and Savior. Believe and repent all your sins before it is too late. Time is very, very short. Get baptized of water and spirit. Before you get baptized, you need to understand why you are getting baptized. Because many people get baptized without understanding why. And so being born again, understand that you have received and accepted Jesus Christ as your God and Savior. You believe that he is the only begotten Son of God who has come in the flesh on earth and died for our sins and was buried and rose on the third day. Amen? And so, you love God, you obey Him, and you keep His commandments. You must, you must make peace with all people and live a holy life. Stay out of sin. When you sin, repent quickly. We are all human, but when you sin, repent as soon as possible. I'm going to share with you another word from the Lord. First John chapter 2 verse 6 He who says he abides in him out himself also to work just as he worked. He who says he abides in him out himself also to work just as he worked. This is first John chapter 2 verse 6. This proves that once saved, always saved, is a false doctrine, brothers and sisters. Please share this message with our brothers and sisters. Watch and pray. The time is almost over. God bless you.